Hi, I'm Laura Lee Walsh, and I play Hades on the Pantheon. And my name is Melissa Imari, and I am the costume designer for the Pantheon. So when Dan first approached me about doing Pantheon, uh, he told me that we wanted a kind of the office meets, meets uh, BuzzFeed uh, kind of feel. So all of the characters were supposed to be in some sort of uh, hipster attire. So obviously I didn't want to just give everyone the same look. I didn't want everyone in flat framed glasses and plaid shirts. So I kind of started researching different subgenres of hipster and trendy styles, um, street style, uh, different celebrity looks, uh, streetwear, and then um, researching each of the individual characters and their gods uh, mythologically and what they did, what kind of symbolism they had tied to them, and found the subgenre or style that best worked with their character. So like for Hades, uh, everything was much more gothic, kind of soft goth, um, soft grunge, and like metallic. Um, mm -hmm. Then with uh, Morgan, who plays uh, Aphrodite, she's a little bit more of like that preppy and um, more sweet and romantic, kind of like Zoe de Chanel um, in 500 Days of Summer. One of the characters I had the most fun with was uh, probably Hermes. For each of the characters, I was asked to have a kind of standout item for them that really like resonated with their god, with their powers uh, and their specific symbols. So for Hermes, I really, really wanted and was able to get a pair of PF flyers. And then <laughs> I got these little uh, wing, uh, like they're kind of like foam wing accessories that you tie on through the shoelaces. And so those were just a lot of fun for me, being able to see like his little red PF flyers with those little wings on the side. Um, and plus he just had a really fun kind of preppy, know-it-all-y vibe. <laughs> it was great. Ooh, that's a good question. Well, one of the key uh, images that I found when researching for Hades style, the girl and like the outfit that she had, but she had this like almost like fiery, like reddish orange hair. Mm -hmm. So if like if she could have like longer hair and like just kind of get to be able to have a little bit more fun with the colors, I think that'd be something like more in that like, yeah really committing to the goth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, I used to dye my hair like burgundy. I always did the underneath portion when I was in college and then just one of my acting teachers said, you gotta stop doing that because it's gonna be a pain to keep up. But I think for this role, it would have been fun to like kind of have that all, all over, um, but also like a septum pierce, right? Yeah, and yeah. like maybe some gauges. Um, Tattoos. Definitely get the, yeah, I'm, I'm so tattoo-less. Honestly, I was really excited when I saw how the look of Hades was coming together. Um, it's a role that when I was cast was not something I was typically cast as, someone who is dark and of the underworld. Um, I usually play like the awkward babysitter or like that barista at Starbucks. So for me, it was just like a different, different world anyway. And when Melissa brought in all these uh, options at the first first table read the whole lookbook, I was like, this is really cool. Like, this is exciting. I might start getting into dark lipstick kind of a thing, <laughs> you know? Um, I did buy some Doc Martens, um, taken on some things in my personal life that um, Hades would wear because uh, one of the clothing items I did buy for the, for the shoot, it's like a green cargo jacket and it's a man's jacket, but it was honestly perfect. And when I put that on, plus the shirt, I was like, I'm ready. Let's <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the, the soft grunge is really where she would be in the modern day, you know, just thinking about um, coming from the underworld, you know, she wouldn't be like complete goth because she's trying to fit into this company, but also wouldn't be totally preppy because she's Hades. Yeah, and that's true, though. I definitely have noticed um, your headshots and like some of the different <laughs> work that you post online. I'm like, oh, okay, that's a familiar look. <laughs> yeah, it's actually because I've, I've been getting cast in things that are in this vein and I've been told that um, if there's just like a dry sense of humor that comes from me and that works with a goth sort of look like a soft goth look so yeah I do have a headshot now for it because I've booked like five or six things of this sort of genre yeah so it works out <laughs> <Our> costume <laughs>